We now have our first typhoon of the 2023 season in the Western Pacific. This is Typhoon Mawar continuing to strengthen here over the Marshall Islands as it pulls off towards the north, and it will be impacting Guam starting by Tuesday night and really throughout the day on Wednesday. Around uh, noontime on Wednesday, it looks like that's going to be the worst of the weather for Guam and Rota and over there towards Saipan, where you're already seeing that Sears outflow early here on your Monday morning. Those rain bands starting to work their way into the picture, and you take a look at the track, the steering off there towards the north and just kind of hooking towards the left. The latest forecast has edged it a little bit further towards west, but always keep in mind the cone of air, of course. Uh, that is not the you know where the impacts are going to be the worst, but where this track could waver over the next few days. And even if it wavers, let's say 10, 20, 30 miles, that could mean a big difference, especially if this inner eye wall does start to tighten up. But at least at this time, with the current track, and th there's a high probability that we're going to be seeing typhoon strength winds in Rhoda and Anderson there on the northern portions of Guam based on everything we're seeing right now. So, I mean, right now is the time to prepare. I'm not trying to hype this, of course, um, and I'm not saying this is going to be the worst storm in years out here, uh, but it is definitely a storm you do want to get ready for out here. A typhoon watch is in place for Guam, Rota, and Saipan, pretty much the entire Mariana Islands. Uh, worst of the weather will be Wednesday afternoon, and then we're going to also talk about that long-range threat for Okinawa or Luzon or Taiwan. Uh, there is some guidance differentiation once this moves further towards the uh, west. But based on here, right now, now here's something I do want to know. Top right, the screen, I'm making this from Florida, um, is Eastern time. Just uh, subtract it or add it, uh, add 12 hours, that is. So this would be um, Monday or Tuesday morning at 2 a.m., that is. And we're looking ahead here. This is by Tuesday afternoon. You're seeing those out of rain bands start to work their way in. Inner Iowa, just down there towards the south and east. And then as we go ahead to Tuesday night, that's when conditions really going to start to deteriorate. We're going to start to see those sustained tropical storm strength winds uh, coming basically on shore here from the north across to Rota. Uh, into Anderson there. Also over towards Saipan, the winds will start to pick up there too. And in the worst of the weather, as we go ahead into Wednesday morning through early afternoon, uh, basically, uh, yeah, of course, you're going to get that inner high wall based on the current track that, like I said, that would put Anderson right in the worst of it uh, as far as that outer eye wall. Uh, Rota as well, get the right front quadrant. I mean, not a desirable scenario, guys. And like I said, don't, even when you say it's just a Cat 1 or a Cat 2, uh, you know, you still have to prepare, guys. These storms are dangerous, and that's why we call them typhoons, and that's why, you know, the, we, we always take these so seriously. As it pulls away, though, conditions will improve as we go ahead into Thursday. Now, let's look ahead. This moves away, all right? Then, the long-range guidance is differenting. The ECMWF wants to pull this storm a little bit closer to Luzon, kind of like that, while the GFS has been pulling it like that. Basically, it all depends on its speed and how this high pressure area back here towards the north and east interacts uh, with our storm system. And there's going to be a new low forming here west of Luzon. Now, if that low, and the GFS is showing some isobars there, if that low forms enough, then it could draw both of these storms just a bit closer together, and that would bring it further towards Luzon. But I do think, based on the high pressure position and that rainy season front towards the north, it will hook eventually. The closer it gets, the more rain we're going to see in Luzon. All right? No sugar coconut. Uh, northern areas from Manila to Pangan Sinan across Region 1 and 2, you're going to see those rain showers. Um, now, Okinawa needs to be watching it closely too, though, guys. I mean, eventually, if this is going to hook towards the north, the southern Japanese islands needs to keep a very, very keen eye on the possible impacts from this, this uh, typhoon. So right now, of course, if you are in Guam, typhoon watch is in place. Be ready. Be smart. And of course, as always, stay safe out there, guys. Uh, as I said, I'm at work. Uh, First Coast News. Love my job here. Got a little bit of a time between the shows, so I wanted to give you guys an update out here in the Western Pacific. I'll be back at my normal updates in front of my green screen uh, tomorrow. I keep you guys posted. Anyways, yeah, stay safe out there.